Now shift our focus to Japan. Typhoon Haishen has hit Japan's southern prefecture. The typhoon categorized as large and extremely strong has hit the Anamiyoshima region with 124 miles per hour winds. Officials have warned of record rainfall and high waves. The wind is expected to be strong enough to snap power poles and overturn vehicles. More than 11,000 households across the southern prefectures have now been left without any power. Japan's Met Agency has urged the 200,000 residents of Kyushu to be on high alert and exercise maximum precautions. About 100,000 households in the southern prefectures of Okinawa were asked to evacuate even before the typhoon made landfall. People have been advised to seek shelters at makeshift arrangements for now. But many are choosing to seek safety at local hotels rather than designated local schools and community centers. This to reduce the risk of contracting the coronavirus at crowded public shelters. The typhoon has now put a halt to the rescue efforts launched after a cargo ship sank in another storm that hit the island country earlier. The vessel called Gulf Livestock One, carrying 43 crew members and 6,000 cattle, made a distress call earlier this week. True crew members have been rescued so far and about a dozen remain missing still. Patrol ships are set to remain in the sea to resume search operations after the typhoon passes the region. The storm has forced the cancellation of more than 500 flights. The Japanese multinational automotive manufacturer Toyota has said that it would suspend its operations at three plants in Kyushu until Monday evening. Typhoon Haishen follows Typhoon Mesak, which slammed into the Korean Peninsula earlier this week, leaving at least two dead and thousands temporarily without any power.